My name is Sam Rodriguez, and I serve as the Instrumental Music Advisor for the Brownsville Independent School District. On behalf of the BISD Department of Fine Arts, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2023 BISD All-City Band Concert. We are extremely thrilled to have you here with us tonight, and we hope you enjoy the performances of these very, very talented students. The BISD All City Band is comprised of talented musicians from across the school district who have dedicated countless hours to perfecting their craft. They have worked tirelessly under the guidance of their dedicated band directors, and we are so proud of all that they have accomplished. Tonight, we will be treated to a variety of musical selections ranging from classical wind band literature to Broadway musical tunes. It is a testament to the hard work and dedication of our students that they are able to perform such a wide range of music with such skill and precision. I would like to extend a special thanks to our band directors who have played a crucial role in guiding and inspiring our students. I would also like to thank the parents, the families, and our community members who have supported our students along their musical journey. I would like to thank BISD Superintendent Dr. Rene Gutierrez for his unyielding support and dedication not only to the district, but to the BISD band programs. Now, I'd like to introduce someone who supports events such as these within our district. She is an advocate for all students in the district and is a big fine arts supporter here in BISD. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming the Brownsville ISD School Board President, Ms. Jessica G. Gonzalez. Thank you and good evening. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is my absolute honor to be before such amazingly talented students, staff, and their families. I applaud you for how far you've come, and I know even better things are in your future. I will admit, I personally am not a band parent, but I've always admired your time and dedication to this art. It's very apparent that this art, the art of music, is where the hand, the head, but especially your heart go together. But with this passion also comes discipline. Sometimes nobody wants to tell you why discipline is so important. Discipline is the strongest form of self-love. It is ignoring the current pleasures for bigger rewards to come. It is loving yourself enough to give yourself everything you deserve in life. John, John Warren once said, discipline is the bridge between your goals and your accomplishments. And students, look at all you've accomplished so far. So once again, I congratulate you, your families, and the extraordinary staff at the Fine Arts Department for everything that they do. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez, once again for being here this evening and for your support of the BISD band programs. She has always been a genuine supporter of not only our students, but our directors as well. In the BISD Department of Fine Arts, we are blessed to have a passionate and effective leader. Not only is this gentleman a very good friend of mine, but he's also a great mentor and advocate for the Fine Arts Department. The man who pays to keep the lights on, the bills to keep the lights on, BISD Director of Fine Arts, Mr. Michael Garcia. Good evening, and thank you for joining us for, for this beautiful concert. The students you'll hear perform tonight are supremely talented. Those talents were cultivated by our band staff, and they grew from beginners into now top musicians. I'd like to thank our band directors for their hard work and dedication to the students of Brownsville ISD. I would also like to thank you, the parents. Thank you for entrusting your children with us. We know you have options when it comes to your child's education, and we're thankful that you've chosen BISD. I'd also like to thank you for allowing your child to participate in our fine arts programs. These band students learn far more than the notes on the page. They learn to be responsible, dedicated, and disciplined. 
they learn to work well with others, and they learn how to be part of a team. These are all essential skills that will help them tremendously later in life. So we are so very thankful to you for allowing your child to be part of the band. It's nights like tonight that I'm sure you'll think back on that decision and know that it was the right one. Thank you again for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the concert. And now, I'd like to hand the microphone over to someone who has a voice smooth as velvet. The gentleman is a retired BISD band director with a career that spans at 40 years. He spent 36 of those years as a band director here in BISD. Now, he plays the role as grandpa to his beautiful daughter's children and husband to a very supportive and amazing wife, and continues to serve as our official BISD All-City Band Master of Ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, La Voz de Oro, the maestro, the professor, Mr. Cesar Mascoro. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for such a lavish introduction. We hope we can live up to it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it is once again my honor to serve as your master of ceremonies for this wonderful performance featuring some outstanding young musicians doing some very fine work, which happens to be the tradition of the Brownsville ISD band program. These students have proven to be some of the very best from the Rio Grande Valley and the state of Texas. Now, you might be wondering how these students got here in the first place. The students in the Brownsville All City Band became members of this elite group the old fashioned way. They earned it. These students you will hear tonight have demonstrated superior musical talents with their participation in the TMEA All Region Band audition process. The other point you should know about these young people is their successful commitment to academic excellence. All these students here tonight have achieved and maintained their eligibility by passing all their classes. That means that every one of the members of these bands has proven to not only be outstanding musicians, but excellent and responsible students. The first group to perform this evening is our All City Middle School Band, and these students have collectively accomplished a major feat. It's not very often that one city can boast of so many chairs earned in the all-region band, but we'll go ahead and boast a little, or maybe a lot. From our BISD middle schools, 151 students earned a chair in this year's all-region band. Yes. Not only is this the highest number of chairs earned from any school district in the Rio Grande Valley, but it is a new record number for BISD. I think that deserves another round of applause. I, I would like to ask, will all the students that earned a chair in the All Region Band, would you please stand at this time? Thank you, students. Thank you. In addition, BISD students earned 12 out of the possible 15, did we hear those numbers correctly? 12 out of the 15 possible first chair placements in the all region band. Will all students who earned a first chair placement in your section please stand? Thank you, students. Thank you. And that's not the last we'll speak about this evening about history. Tonight, in front of your very eyes, this middle school band will be making history by 
performing a piece that has never been performed in front of an audience or on any stage ever before. That is referred to as a world premiere, a piece by the composer Michael Mukolka. They will be performing that as one of their six pieces they will perform for you in just a few moments. So congratulations, All City Middle School Band. You are making history tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> Aside from their own preparation and practice habits, various aspects are required for these students to have the opportunity to achieve at this level. First, we're fortunate to have many talented band directors who are highly dedicated to teaching the students of our school district. And if we'd like to visit a little bit of history again, our BISD band program has a long tradition of excellence spanning more than eight decades. Our band directors continue to be highly dedicated, organized, meticulous, talented and consistent in keeping that tradition alive and well. The consistent track record of success of our band department is truly unmatched. We'd like to recognize our great band directors at this time. Will all BISD band directors in attendance please stand so we may give you one great round of applause. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. These students are also supported by schools that care. We have principals who are doing all they can, especially during our recent challenges, to ensure these students have what they need to be successful. We thank our dedicated BISD principals for their support. Will any school principals here tonight, and we can add to that our uh, AAs, Mrs. Rose Longoria and Dr. Norma Ibarra Cantu, if you are in attendance, and principals, would you please stand at this time so we may recognize you and thank you. In addition, we have other BISD administrative personnel, classroom teachers, music teachers, counselors, and staff that work together district-wide to guide these students towards success. Would you also please stand to be recognized at this time? Any BISD, teachers, staff, anyone who has some influence in the daily lives of these students, thank you. <laughs> but most importantly, we would like to thank the parents of these outstanding young people. You are the individuals who have given them the opportunity to realize their talent and potential. Parents, you have done well. These young adults have a very high work ethic and a high standard of excellence. This comes from being raised in a positive environment where they can learn right from wrong and the pride to do their best. I would like to ask all parents of both the middle school and the high school All City Band uh, members to please stand at this time. Padres de estos alumnos, por favor, pónganse de pie. We'd like to thank everyone, parents, for your help and support. Thank you. We also thank Texas Southmost College for your continued support and partnership. Thank you to Mr. Frank Morris, TSE's Director of Multimedia, and to Daniel Garcia, Sound Engineer, Gabriel Picasso, Audio Visual Manager, and Salvador Lopez, Audio Visual Intern. We have a crew here tonight from KBSD, BISD's TV channel, taping the performances for future broadcasting. For that reason, and because we know you will want to appreciate every moment of this concert. Please, out of respect for these amazing students and their clinicians, I would like to ask if you would please take a moment and make sure, if you have not done so already, that your cell phone or any electronic device is set to silent mode. We also ask that no one exit or enter the auditorium while a band is performing, only exiting in the case of an upset or noisy child 
or spouse. <clears throat> we would like to recognize and thank the Lucio Middle School band staff as the organizers for the middle school group. Thank you to Mrs. Je Genesis Blanco Carpio, head band director, and assistant band directors, Mr. Andrew Moser, Mr. Isai Reyes, and percussion organizer, Mr. Jacob Medeiros. We have some late additions to the musical, to the middle school band that we must mention at this time. On B-flat clarinet, we have Mayra Avila from Falk Middle School. In the trumpet section, we have Emmanuel Alviar, also from Falk Middle School. And on euphonium, Mauricio Hernandez from Besteiro Middle School. The clinician for the middle school group is Mr. Jarrett Lippman. Mr. Lippman is currently the director of bands at Claudia Taylor Lady Bird Johnson High School in San Antonio. Under his leadership, Johnson High School has achieved and maintained a consistent track record of excellence from the concert stage to the marching field, earning high accolades at the region level to state honors as well as national recognition. Through his company Bandworks, he often presents professional development sessions in support of band directors and music teachers. He is in high demand, and we are honored to have him here with us this weekend. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the stage Mr. Jarrett Lippman to conduct the Brownsville All City Middle School Band. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah.
exciting for all of us, and watching their faces and seeing the hall start to fill up and getting to see the high school students here. Uh, it doesn't get any more magical when you've worked as hard as they have over the last two days to prepare uh, to have an audience that's this big and this energetic and this enthusiastic. So it just means the world to the students, it does to me. Uh, I'm very grateful to have spent the last two days with them. I can say they've done more for me in the last 24 hours than I could ever hope to give back to them. And uh, I, I got up in front of uh, the band last night, and, and it's, a, it's a little overwhelming when you see their, their faces, and they're just so much positive energy. Uh, and, and the last week for me has personally been challenging, and so to be around this much positive energy, I go home inspired, and I go home grateful to God and to them and to the community uh, to be spending time with you. So uh, we've had a great time preparing this literature when I'm selecting it. I told them, I selected six tunes. I said, let's see what we can get through. We might get through some of them. We might get through a few, and we'll pick whichever ones. Uh, and as, as they plowed through the weekend, they were able to put all six of these tunes together. So let's give them another round of applause.
promised I wouldn't talk and I won't other than to say this is about riding a bicycle, a vehicle, taking a walk, being out in the sunshine. Uh, Mr. McCulka and I went to college together. We're both from New Jersey and we both got to Texas as fast as humanly possible. Uh, and, and he grew up and we were in the same band together. Uh, he wrote a piece for my senior recital and uh, we've stayed friends ever since then. Our parents are friends and he's written this piece. I uh, dedicated it to our students here on the stage tonight, so please enjoy riding the sunshine. We would like to ask Mr. Littman to please come towards the podium at this time. Mr. Littman, on behalf of the Brownsville ISD Band Department, the Brownsville Band Staff, and the students of the 2023 Brownsville All-City Band, we want to thank you for serving as a clinician this, this uh, weekend. We know you're busy and high demand, so we are honored and fortunate to have had you here this, uh, this weekend. Please accept this plaque as a token of our appreciation.
sure. Thank you. Thank you. Just again, thank you so much. Thank you to all of the band directors in Brownsville for, for inviting me uh, and to Genesis Carpio and her staff for just taking such great care of us. We finished our program with Down on the Delta. Uh, we had a great time with this one and a great time with you tonight. Thank you. It was the spring semester, 1953. In the band hall on the old Brownsville High School campus, there was a band director, James R. Murphy, that was preparing the Golden Eagle Band for their concert contest program. So outstanding was their performance that the Brownsville High School Band became the first high school band to be invited to perform at the Midwest Band and Orchestra Clinic. Our band directors and students have never looked back. 
The Brownsville ISD band program is truly an example of consistency and a palpable tradition of excellence. The final group to perform this evening is our Brownsville All City High School Band. The students in this group have competed in the All Region Band audition process and earned some notable accomplishments along the way. Out of the 259 BISD students that participated in the Region audition, 139 earned a distinction, earning a chair in the Region Bands. In addition, BISD students earned 14 of the possible 20 first chair placements, representing a 70% rate of success of all first chair possibilities. Many of them also advanced to the area level, and this year we have 19 students who have earned a chair in the TMEA Texas All-State Band, and very important to note, of the 23 students representing all of Region 28 in the All-State Band, 19 of those 23 are our own BISD students. <laughs> the high school all-state competition demands quite a bit of these young adults. It takes dedication, self-discipline, talent, and perseverance as they go through the most intense high-pressure audition process you can imagine. It has been said that anyone having success under pressure has ice water running through their veins. Not everyone performs well under pressure while others flourish. Obviously, these students have flourished. And of course, these students are also academically outstanding as they have earned and maintained their eligibility. I would like you to meet these students who have earned these honors through an audition process of many, many weeks. First of all, would all the students who earned a chair in the all-region band please stand? <laughs> now, would all would all students who performed in the All Region Band please remain standing? <laughs> Would all students who advanced to the pre area competition please remain standing? Would all students who advanced to the area competition please remain standing? <laughs> Finally, would all, <clears throat> would all students who have earned a chair in the Texas Music Educators Association All-State Band please remain standing? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Brownsville All-State Band members. One more time. Thank you. Thank you, students, and congratulations. We congratulate these students and wish them well as they will perform in two weeks as members of the All-State Band in San Antonio as part of the annual TMEA conference. We'd like to give a special thanks to the Rivetta High School Band staff as the organizers of the 2023 All-City High School Band. Thank you, Mr. Alex Torres, Director of Bands at Rivetta High School, and his staff Associate Band Directors, Ms. Leilani Ramirez, Mr. Eric Ramos,
I'd like to repeat those names again. Uh, Ms. Uh, Head Band Directors, Mr. Alex Torres. Associate uh, Band Directors, Ms. Leilani Ramirez, Mr. Eric Ramos, and Percussion Instructor, Mr. Hugo Gonzalez, also the percussion organizer for the high school group. Rivetta Band staff. It's always great to see former students actively as successful band directors themselves. We have two late additions to the high school group. They are Israel Piña on trumpet from Hannah High School and Alina Inojosa on euphonium from Veterans Memorial High School. The clinician for the All City High School Band is Joni Perez. Mrs. Perez served the Woodlands High School Band for 19 years and the last 13 of which as director of bands. Under her leadership, the band earned consistent superior ratings in UIL events, again, from the concert stage to the marching field, also earning state and national accolades. More specific information can be found in your program. She currently is in high demand as a guest conductor, clinician, adjudicator, consultant, and presenter of leadership workshops, and we are very fortunate to have her with us this weekend. Here now, ladies and gentlemen, is the Brownsville All-City High School Band under the baton of Mrs. Joni Perez. Mrs. Perez.
Aren't they fantastic, everybody? Aren't they wonderful? I'm so excited to be here this weekend. Um, we've had a great time uh, from yesterday and today making some great music and um, got a really great program for you to enjoy tonight. Uh, the first piece that we played was Réjouissance, um, wonderful sparkly concert opener, just high energy. And then of course, um, what, we, what you just heard, which is probably familiar to many of you, um, The Barber of Seville, the famous comic opera by Rossini. Um, we've got several other pieces lined up for you um, that we wanna perform and it's, it's just been so much fun working with these guys and I'm, I'm super pleased with what they've done so far for you tonight. Our next piece that we will be performing is called The Rusty Bucket, and it's by composer um, Carol Burton Chambers. She's actually here from Texas and lives in San Antonio. And it's based off of um, old time traditional folk tunes that would maybe traditionally be played by the fiddle or the banjo or the guitar and this is um, translated into somewhat of a barn dance, if you will, uh, based off of like, things like the square dance. Um, and uh, your, the, the program notes, she says, um, imagine yourself being uh, in the dance hall on a Saturday night and get ready to kick back and uh, have a great time. So everybody, this is the Rusty Bucket. Thank you. 
I'm going to talk to you about the next two pieces that we're going to play. Shenandoah will be next, followed by Mambo. Um, Shenandoah is one of the great American ballad masterpieces. Um, and uh, many of you may recognize the melodies as we play through it. Um, but this was an opportunity, playing this piece was an opportunity to give the students the chance to express music in a different way than, than all the other pieces that we're doing this evening. You know, so much of our program is high energy and, uh, you know, fun and uh, lots of rhythms, lots of uh, drive. And uh, this one is just a chance to relax and feel the transparency and let it move you. Um, I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. For Mambo, which will be following completely different uh, energy and mood and style um, from the great West Side Story by Leonard Bernstein. It's a party through and through. Percussion get to go wild and go crazy. It's, it's just a great time. You guys are gonna love it. You get to shout a little bit. And we hope you shout with us. Um, but that's gonna be really exciting. Coming back to Shenandoah, you know, we... It's such a great thing to be here tonight and get to share all this music with you. And I've been talking to the students all weekend about sharing their gift with you this evening. And we live in a, in a world right now that is on fire. And um, there's a lot, a lot going on that's negative out there. And it's, it's really easy to um, lose sight of the wonderful things that are still a part of our life and the things that we get to experience. And one of those things is music and events like this. And so I just wanna encourage you when you listen, um, you know, if, you, if you're going through something right now that's tough, um, that's difficult, just allow yourself for a few minutes to let that go and let this music speak to your heart and just relax. It's beautiful. If you've never heard it before, you'll, you'll be moved. If you do know it, you'll be moved. And I, the students moved me when we rehearsed this this weekend. Um, these, these children, these teenagers, this is what's right in our world right now. And they're about to share a gift with you through Shenandoah, so we hope that you enjoy it.
At this time, we would like to ask Mrs. Perez to please come towards the podium for a little presentation. We know that with your responsibilities and your schedule, you could be practically anywhere tonight. So we're very grateful that you took the time to be here with our young musicians and be here uh, this weekend to make such great music. So on behalf of the Brownsville Band staff, uh, the students of the 2023 All City Band and all of BISD, we thank you and we present this plaque as a token of our appreciation. Thank you, Mrs. Pettis. Thank you, thank you very much. Wasn't that exciting? That's so much fun to do. Um, yeah, that's okay. Give it up. They're awesome. They're awesome. Um, before this last selection, I want to thank uh, all of the organizers um, that, that helped prepare for this event, that um, were just wonderful with communication, hospitality, making sure that uh, myself and Mr. Littman, we always had what we needed. Uh, thank you so much to all of you uh, who were a part of that. It's just been wonderful. This has been a wonderful, wonderful experience. I was telling the students earlier that, um, you know, I've, I'm, I've been fortunate enough to stand in front of a lot of these um, honor groups, if you will, and this group, they were the fastest learners of any group that I've ever worked with, and that was important to be able to do all of these pieces. Um, you know, this has been, this is challenging stuff. And I know you've been really impressed with what they've been able to put together. Can you believe what they've done in just a few hours? It's, it's phenomenal. It's incredible. And that's just made it so much fun um, to, you know, pick the program and, you know, come into it not sure if, if, if we're going to be able to do everything, but they showed me on Friday evening in the first hour and a half or so how quick they absorb and respond to information. And so I thought, okay, well, I think we're going to be able to do it, um, to be able to do all six. So that, that is pretty exciting. Um, I want to thank all of you for being here tonight. This is a celebration of these kids' talents and, as we said earlier, the gift that they've been given that they can share with you. We're just so glad that you could be here to experience it. Um, I talked with them for just a few minutes before, uh, before we came in for the middle school concert and I wanna share with you a couple of things that I shared with them. And this is, this is really for uh, parents out there that have students that um, are children that uh, are not sure about whether they can do music beyond high school. Um, I just wanna, I just wanna point out that there are so many opportunities, and not, not talking about majoring in music. If they wanna major in music, let's go, right? Let's go, and I tell them we need more music educators, but I'm, I'm really talking to those who, um, I, you know, we hate to see them put away their instrument when they graduate, and it's just gonna go in a box and collect dust. And you know, I said to them earlier, music is a part of their DNA at this point, and it's a part of their lives. And I wanted to encourage them and I want to encourage you to try to find opportunities for them to keep playing. Uh, universities, colleges, um, lots of community schools, community colleges too, will offer opportunities for students to play in ensembles without being a major in music. And I was telling them also they can get paid scholarships to go and be a part of these ensembles. Um, you know, if you, in a lot of these places. And, and even if they're not planning to go uh, to college or um, a university, or maybe they're going to a vocational school, or, or maybe none of that is in their future, then look for a community group, a community band uh, that may be um, pieced together in, in the area. But please, please, please do what you can to encourage and foster uh, that love of music and, and, and keep it going in their lives after high school, if it's in their lives, it's gonna be in your lives too. And I know so many of you have been touched um, and enriched by your child's experience in music. 
Um, there's, there's just nothing like music. And I said to them, the one thing about it is it will always be there for you when so many things will fade out of your life and people will fade out of your life, but music will always be there. So I hope that they've had a great time this weekend. I, I have had a wonderful time. This has been an absolutely fantastic experience. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the concert. Thank you for having us down. And uh, our final piece is called Curtain Call. Um, it, it's self-explanatory. Um, it's based off of a lot of vaudeville music. It's very car cartoonish. cartoonish. Uh, you'll hear a lot of toys and whistles and bells and whistles back there in the percussion. Um, but it, it's a lot of fun. You're gonna recognize a lot of the melodies. And uh, we think that you will have a blast hearing this. So thank you again. It's been a pleasure. We hope you enjoy Curtain Call. Thank you once again, Mrs. Pettis. All City High School Band, fantastic. Congratulations, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a safe drive home and let us continue to support our band programs and our fine arts programs. Thank you and good night. Thank you very much. Thank you.